everybody. It is the end of April, almost May. Today is the most, most beautiful day outside, and but I'm indoors now. I uh, just got finished doing a 5K walk with the Kilroy home. They did it on the bike and, and walking, but all our homes at Brookwood did a 5K walk, and it was wonderful. But it's getting a little bit of warm, and I, so I want y'all to continue to walk. Uh, we can always walk indoors if it's too hot outside. Just remember, we want to start wearing our hats and, you know, and have that protection there. We want to put that sunblock on really good and, you know, keep our, our face covered a little bit. But we also want to keep exercising, so I don't want you to uh, not go outside uh, and be scared of the sun. But I want you to wear good protection if you do, but you can also do inside. And so we're going to do another 15-minute walk. And just to do it anytime you want to do it with me, um, we're going to do some stretches between all the time here. We got our clock here to count down for 15 minutes. So if we're ready, but you know in Texas we do everything bigger. This is a good hat. It's a Brookwood um, construction hat, but I'm going to get my a better hat here. I think it'll give me more protection outside. There we go. That's my Texas hat. Now I think I'm ready. And so we're going to walk for 15 minutes and in between Every minute we're going to do a little bit of a stretch, and so you'll join me in doing that. Are you ready? Now, not going to be too much uh, music on this one because we're going to be talking a lot, but y'all ready? Let's start walking. All right. Keep that fingers and hands and toes and everything kind of going with your walking there, and wiggle a little bit. There you go. And just do a nice walk. I'm just really proud of y'all. There we go. I want you to keep your feet going, keep your hands going the whole time when you're walking. It kind of gives your whole body a little bit of movement there. There you go. And so kind of wiggle your fingers all the time, wiggle your toes if you can when you're walking. But just a nice walk. So this is our first minute, and we're going to have our first stretch in here too. How's everybody doing? I am proud of y'all. Again, we did a 5K walk here at Brookwood. We um, have a had a donor that gave a mile, a dollar for each mile we did. Actually, each lap we did. It was a half mile lap. And uh, we, our guys got a dollar out of that. We raised $293. And we did this for a great organization right here in Brookshire called Eyes on Me Ministry for at-risk kids and their family who just don't have all the opportunities that, um, that we have here. And so we want to kind of give some of our opportunities back to them. All right, here's our first stretch, all right? Now, I want you to do this. I want you to take the heel of your foot and take this point it out. So I'm going to move back just a little bit. You got it. Just hold it there. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes should be up. Do the other foot. Hang it out there. Put your heel down. Toes straight up. Oh, and hold it like that. You can bring your toes back a little bit. You kind of feel that little stretch in the back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's keep walking. All right. Here at Brookwood, we're always training for a 5K walk. We do two 5K walks a year, and that's 3.2 miles. Uh, we have our a uh, little circle here, this, um, the Fondren Circle. Um, it's the original Fondren Circle we call it because uh, it goes between the Strait Building and the Reynolds Building. And it's about a mile, a little over a mile. And so if you do five laps, so it kind of equals out to about 3.2 miles. And so we do one in the spring and one in the fall. And um, we're just, it's just something that we're always trained for. And so I want everybody also to be able to walk a mile a day takes about um, 30 minutes uh, for most of us. Um, and so I want you to get out there and try to walk. And we're doing it 15 minutes inside. It kind of goes a little bit faster. So some of us can do a mile 15 minutes, but really, if you're inside and kind of doing it, this movement here, you know, it's a little bit easier than outside because sometimes you've got little hills and kind of go over curves and stuff like that. All right, move your fingers, move your feet, keep walking. Uh, I know I don't have any music here, so I'll, I'll do a little song here. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I feel like I'm the world's greatest singer and all by myself now. I just realized I got this on video. Oh my gosh. All right. Our next stretch here, we're going to kind of um, just kind of move up here a little bit. I got to forget, I forgot what it was. It was a touch um, behind the hand. So we're going to kind of put your hands behind and kind of reach as we're walking. There we go, a little bit. And hold on to it for 10 seconds. Back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, let's keep walking. Hello, everybody. Man, I tell you, I was just so proud of all our homes doing the 5K this uh, here in April, especially during all this uh, unusual year, because we just hadn't had that chance to, to get out walking as much as we used to. But I tell you, the Tuttle home, this is the um, ladies' home, uh, they walk every day, sometimes three times a day. They probably get in close to three miles themselves just doing it throughout the day. And really proud of them. Uh, but usually every Saturday between um, September all the way through April, our guys are doing walking every Saturday and training again for that 5K walk. So I want you to think about always training for a 5K walk. Good job. Keep them moving. Oh, my gosh. Just kind of doing our walk. We're going to do a, really a mile and 15 minutes, but most of us, if you're outside, it takes about uh, 30 minutes. There we go. All right. Our next exercise is not going to be very comfortable to a lot of us, but I want you to hopefully you can try some. If you need to, you can always use a chair, and i got one right here, and you can kind of hold on to it, but we're going to go down and just squat down and stay down there for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now you might use a chair to help you get back up. Good job, everybody. All right, let's continue walking. All right, we've just kind of been chit-chatting, haven't we? All right. Like I said, I'm just so proud that our guys do two 5K walks, and they're, they always do it for some organization. And again, we just did one uh, for Eyes on, Minist Eyes on Me Ministry right here in Brookshire, so we're really proud. And we um, raised money to buy food cans. And so, and we all bought a lot of fruit cans because the boy... I just love fruit. I think that there's just not enough fruit sometimes in this world for all of us. And so I'm glad we went and bought it and had it for our families and children here in Brookshire that need it. All right. Y'all doing great. Just kind of keep walking. You're doing good movements. All right. And you can kind of just, you know, we move forward and a little backwards. Just kind of, I have to kind of look at my cheat sheet and see what I was going to do here. Oh, my gosh. This is another one that you might need a chair for. Okay. So I'm going to bring a chair back. All right, this one, I'm going to hold my leg back and kind of hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you switch your hand around there and hold it up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, continue that walking. We're just chit-chatting, just kind of enjoying ourselves. Another little fun song I was uh, always like, it's um, Hee Haw. And I don't know if you know this history here, but Gail Baker, who is a resident here, uh, her sister was a star on Hee Haw. And she was a character who always said, that's all. And uh, it was a wonderful show, if you can remember, it was in the 70s, and it uh, it was um, kind of a fun show, and so anyway, that's a, there's a song from that um, Hee Haw, and it went like this. Where, oh where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another and you were gone. That's the way it goes. I remember it. Kind of a silly song, but I think sometimes we need silliness in our life just to have fun. All right, ready for our next stretch? I have to kind of move up here a little bit. All right, we're going to go across our chest. So what we're going to do here is go one, reach out, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. How simple as that. There we go. Let's go walking. There you're right. I'm just proud of y'all. Just kind of keep moving. Remember, if you want to, not cheating at all. So we'll get that hat there. You can sit down and walk. If you get a little tired, there you go. And we just kind of, oh, we keep moving your hands. There you go. Good job. Well, I tell you, 15 minutes goes fast if you just chit chat and stop and do a little stretch. And uh, we have a, what we call a safe, healthy, and happy trail that um, the citizens that work with you can hear walk. And it's a little uh, part that comes a little around the circle there at the end. And uh, on the circle is some um, um, billboards that kind of tell you some different stretches you can do. And so I always think if we're doing a, a walk, you know, kind of stop and do a little stretch there. Good job. See how loud we can get. Great job. All right, it's almost time for our next stretch here. All right. Oh, we're just going to touch our toes. So, again, put your feet down and just go down and touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go walking. Y'all are doing great. And I'm just babbling along here. I just like to talk. I'm so proud of Brookwood. You know what? Uh, Brookwood has made all the great opportunities there is available even during this unusual time. I'm glad that we're all back at work. And uh, I'm glad that we're talking about work. We're doing some very unique designs. We're doing some great bowls. We're doing uh, getting ready for, gosh, can you believe it? Our eight point set of season is coming up pretty soon in August. I know it just sounds like around the corner uh, in August, but boy, we're getting ready for that. And our guys are still doing some stone, stone casting and ceramics. And so it's just great to see everybody back at work. And I, I love that everybody's talking about work and talking about the great products they're having. And that's a joy. And uh, I'm also glad that when we're not at work, that we're, we're moving and doing exercise. Our guys are doing pool fit. Uh, they have an opportunity every week to come up to the pool and get in there. And we're doing it, everybody right now here residentially has to do it by home by home. Uh, we can't overlap too much at this time still. But they're doing pool fit. They're doing exercise fit, which means they can either do some walking or biking or do the exercise machine. Uh, they have gym fit on the weekends where they come up and kind of do a 30 minute walk in the gym and the cool and the guys in the wheelchairs and get up there and have level land and, and move themselves and uh, then they can do a little bit of ball skills. Uh, right now we're in a, we, 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 we've been in softball uh, sport, but right, of course we can't play softball when we can't get everybody out, out to play, but we're doing some ball skills there and so proud of those guys and so our guys are staying really fit doing a lot of movement there. Of course, they just, everybody just did a 5K walk, and I was proud of them. All right, I'm going to come back up in here, and we're doing pretty good on timing here. I think we're kind of even 15 minutes of going fast. We're going to do a little bit of leg stretch, so I'm going to take one leg and just stretch this. You see I'm bending this knee and stretching that? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, let's go to the other side, you ready? Here we go, one, two, can I make that this straight and you bend this knee? There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, boy, our time is just kind of going fast. It seems like there we're just doing really good. 
I know I talked a little bit, so we're going to go just a little bit over our, looks like it's been 15 minutes, but we're going to go just a little bit, about five more minutes there. All right, last time to walk, let's go. Let's move those hands. There we go. There we go. Good job. Take a deep breath in. All right, guys, we've been having these great socials. Uh, you can only do one home at a time, but they're coming up. And some of the homes just like to have a town meeting where they talk about the calendar and, and just chit-chat and get to know each other again and, and visit. And a lot of our guys have been watching Books Alive. I think all of y'all have seen a performance here at Brookwood. If you, if you worked here, even our day citizens, it's um, from Art Reach right here in Katy. And it's a, they take a, a, a book and they bring it to Alive. Uh, usually there's about four or five characters, and they maybe you have a little, make it into a musical. And so we've been watching that on the video. Since they can't come out here live, they made a video production of it. And so our guys have been watching that and having popcorn and a soft drink. And that's always a lot of fun, isn't it? Because we really can't get to the movies right now. So that is wonderful. All right, our last stretch here. I think that we're going to try to do different things. This is going to be one where I think it's kind of tough, but let's try it. Bring your hands up and get them close to your ear as you can. I got a big idea. And hold them up there for 10 seconds. One, two. I want you to kind of think about your ear and right there, your elbow just kind of matching up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I gave 10 for each arm there. Good job. All right, we're going to finish it up here. Y'all done great. I think 15 minutes went really fast. Oh my gosh. We did great. And we've just babbling along. All right. Thank you guys for always trying to do fitness every day. Uh, I encourage y'all to try to walk a mile. Uh, it again, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes. And you can kind of just take it a nice leisure, and then each time kind of go a little bit faster. Guess what? We had a gentleman here at Brookwood that you all love and know, Michael Jenkinson, that lives at the Anderson home. He did the 5K walk, and he came out, and boy, he did a fast walk. And he broke the Brookwood record of doing a 5K here. The record was Thomas Henderson, Yang Thomas Henderson. He did it in about 51 minutes. But my good friend Michael, he came in, I think, about 49 minutes and did that. That's about, gosh, 10 minutes uh, a lap here that he did it. And I'm so proud of him. He went really fast. He actually had a, a nice friend that was walking along with him, Superman. Yes, the real costume, Superman. And Superman couldn't keep up with him. I tell you, I was just so proud of Michael that he broke that record. And he was really moving fast. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get to all my stretches here because I'm just chit-chatting and doing so much. So I think what I'll do is our last one. Um, let us do this. Let us do, uh, we did hands in the hair. Let's do high knees. You ready? One, two, three. Again, if you think you need a chair, that is great. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Thank you, everybody. That was the fastest 15 minutes. I'm really proud of all y'all. Thank you so much. And we will see you later. Brookwood, I'm so proud of it. What it offers here, the opportunities it gives me and everybody. I tell you, I'm just so glad I get to do exercise every day, that I get to talk about work every day. And again... Uh, this is a Sunday, and I just know that Pastor Anthony just had an in-person service uh, with the home, and so, so the homes are able to kind of come in now, some one at a time, some two at a time, separated. And so work is important and fitness is important, but gosh, we can always be talking about God. And thank you, God, for giving me this wonderful body and this opportunity to be here on earth to take care of different people, take care of my family. Uh, take care of the Brookwood and just have a job 
and, and the opportunity to have a paycheck to then help other people out who don't have the opportunities I have right now. All right. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen.